A new group of investigators are now on the case involving a woman shot and killed at a garage sale in Tomball. 29-year-old Elizabeth Barraza was killed on January 5th of 2019. To this day, no arrests have been made, but there is a $50,000 reward being offered. Tonight, we are taking a much closer look at this case, talking to everyone who was close to Barraza and the investigation. KPRC 2's Coralie Peel shows us why detectives finally believe they are close to solving this murder. Elizabeth Barraza's murder is still considered an open investigation. The lead investigator who was first on this case is now back on it with the help of several state and federal agencies. With so many hands in this case, Barraza's family and investigators are confident that her brutal murder will be solved. A fairy tale is how many described Elizabeth Barraza's life. She had a really great life. Oh, she, she, had a she loved her life. She just was funny and she just she was just a joy to be around. The 29 year old who many called Liz was preparing for her fifth anniversary with husband Sergio Barraza. We were going to Florida. Liz and I were both just simple, normal people that lived a good, simple life. To make some extra pocket money for the trip, Liz planned a garage sale. It was a normal day. She went and got Starbucks before the garage sale, got back to the house. Um, I helped her set up the big items and then kissed her and said goodbye and left for work. Once Sergio arrived to work, he and Barraza's parents received alerts on their phones. My phone beeped to say that I had a message, so I checked it out and um, it was a notification that her alarm had gone off. So I started driving home and as I was driving home, I was reviewing more and more of the ring door footage until I found the, or heard uh, her scream and the gunshots in it and it just, my world just stopped right and my heart like skipped. Barraza's family was greeted by a crime scene. Someone shot Barraza. She was rushed to the hospital where she died. It's like a gut punch you can't imagine. A neighbor surveillance video became the biggest piece of evidence. Sergeant Michael Ritchie with Homicide and Sergeant Jeff Thomas with the cold case squad were at the scene from day one. My initial thought when I watched that video was I really thought I'm gonna have this solved today. It showed a possible black Nissan Frontier truck pulling onto the Barraza street moments after Sergio left. So they were like waiting for me to leave, which is just insane. In the video, the driver is seen approaching Liz's garage sale. The person appears to be in disguise, wearing a wig, long jacket, and tall boots. Within moments, they pull out a gun, shooting Barraza point blank several times. They get back in their truck and drive off. No one could identify the shooter. I think they were definitely there stalking her. And I, I don't understand why, it's, it's crazy. Any indication that this could have been a hit? It, it's possible, just I felt like the person that did this, they had to have prior knowledge. It just wasn't, you know, on a whim. I don't believe it was random. Was the garage sale advertised? Uh, it was only advertised like uh, via like, like street signs. Like we had two little signs up, but anywhere else it wasn't online over any kind of website or anything like that or social media nothing um, nobody in my family really knew about it besides like uh, my mom and her parents the harry potter and star wars fan had a squeaky clean image with no known enemies on this case here everybody i've talked to the family there's been not one person that said that Liz had a, a bad bone in her body. So who would want to kill her? Over the years, many people pointed the blame at her husband. How does that make you feel when you see people pointing the blame at you? It hurts me, it, it, um, it's sad. Sergio has since remarried, but still has Diesel, the dog he shared with Liz, and small memories of her in his home. Did you have anything to do with Liz's murder? No, ma'am, I would never do anything like that. We had the best relationship. Why would I ruin that? Now, nearly five years later, the Texas Rangers, the FBI, and Texas Anti-Gang Unit have joined in on the case. What do you think it will take to crack this case? It's gonna take that one person that's not nervous about talking about it anymore. 
relationships change. Uh, someone knows something. Sergeant Thomas says with the added agency's expertise and resources, they can further examine evidence and jump on new leads that have them closer than ever to solving the case. They may have succeeded in killing her, but she's still a force to be reckoned with and continues to do good throughout this world. Investigators have gathered new evidence in this case. They couldn't say what that evidence is because this is an ongoing investigation, but they're following up on tips nationwide, and there is a $50,000 reward for any information that can lead to an arrest. To see the full timeline of Elizabeth Barraza's murder, we have that on our website at click2houston.com. Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.